Hello! In this video, I'm collaborating with Karen Cabot to do a supply swap challenge. If you aren't already subscribed to Karen Cabot, check out the link in the description below and be sure to subscribe and check out her channel. She makes fun vlogs and DIYs and she's also part of HGTV Handmade, so do check her channel out. The challenge that we're doing is we are mailing each other five things from our own supply stash. These are things that we haven't really found the right project for yet, so we are sending these things to each other, we have no idea what they are, and we have to use at least three of them in our own project. I've already mailed my stuff out, she's already mailed me hers, and it's in my P.O. box, and I need to go pick it up. If you've ever been curious if I have a P.O. box, I do. It's always in my About section on my channel, but I will also put the address in the description below. Don't feel obligated to send me stuff, it's just there if you want to. So I'm gonna go pick up the box in my P.O. box, so let's go. Got the package. It's a letter. Oh, it says, hello, here are your supplies for the rejected craft supply challenge. There's pro beads. Okay, hey, here's the pearl beads. Those are pretty. Foam stickers. Ooh, these are fun. We got a little adhesive on the back. Golden white buttons. I got a huge bag of these buttons from the craft store at least five years ago, and I'm still sitting on most of them since I don't make sweaters for grandmas. <laughs> oh, they are kind of grandma sweater. They they are grandma sweater buttons, but they're kind of vintage, so they could still be cool though. Grandma sweaters are cool. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Vintage scrap paper. Those are cool. Clear plastic tubing. I think I used this for a science project in high school, and I'm still carrying a huge spool of it every time I move. So here's the plastic tube. I don't know what I need. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> sure, I need to think about this. It'll be quite a challenge. Good luck, and also good luck reading my handwriting, <laughs> Karen Cabot. My handwriting is bad. It's yours is fine, and it's colorful. That's fun to read. There are, there's some cool stuff in here, Karen. Thank you. I don't know what to make. I need to, I need to think about this one. I'm gonna take some time to think about it, and then I'm going to come back to this and film a project to make. After some thinking, I decided to make some pencil organizers. So I saved three food cans, removed the labels, and washed them out. Then I went outside and covered them with an anti-rust spray paint in an aqua turquoise color. After a couple of coats and some drying time, I just dove in and started applying Karen's materials. I started with the vintage paper, and this one I particularly liked because the names on it are strange in a funny way. I marked and trimmed the paper to the size of the can, and since it doesn't fit all the way around, I used the scrap paper to fill in the rest. Then glued it on the can and pressed it down with this rolling motion. When thinking about that tube material, I thought it would make a really good bumper for the bottom of the can, which stabilizes it on my desk. I just cut it to size on the bottom and put it on the bottom with a ring of super glue. Now it's a cool vintage organizer. For the next cans, I decided to use this wood veneer material. I have a lot of this left over from a tutorial I did with Kin Community. You can check that out right here or see the description below. I wanted this one to be simple, so I wrapped it around the can, marked the measurement, and cut it. Then glued it on around the middle, and rolled it on the table to make sure the edges were pressed down. I was digging these peace sign foam stickers, so I stuck those on around the middle of the wood veneer, which turned out to be a cute and simple design. For this taller can, I decided to do the same process, mark the measurement, and cut the piece, and use that measurement to cut out another piece. I decided to stack these, so I glued one on, and then the other, rolling it on the table to press the edges down. I wanted to make a design only on the wood part, so I taped off the color on the can, 
and used Karen's leaf foam stickers to make a stencil. I randomly placed them on, kind of making a design with the leaves toward the top, added some of the flowers that were also included, and then took it outside to spray paint that area gold. I had no idea how this would turn out, but as I pulled the stickers off, I thought it turned out pretty interesting with the different textures. Some of the gold got onto the taped off areas, but overall I think it turned out to be a fancy pencil holder. I later glued on the tubing material to the bottom of these cans as well. This was a fun challenge, and it really got me to experiment and think of different ways to use these materials. I'll definitely be using the other materials Karen sent me for future projects, and I can't wait to see what she did with the materials that I sent her. To see the project that Karen made for this challenge, check out this video here, and while you're there, subscribe to her channel. For another organizer project, check out this video here, and for even more DIY projects, be sure to subscribe to my channel, Sea Lemon. You can find all of these links and more information in the video description below. And while you're down there, let me know what you think about these can organizers. Is there a different approach you would have taken with the materials, or which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below.